Hello and welcome to another episode of the Average EV Educational Series. In this episode, we're going to be talking about charging etiquette to help make charging at public stations a breeze. So first, you want to prefer the charger speed um, on a charger that goes with your car. So for example, my car charges max 77 kilowatts. So 150 kilowatt is actually more than I need. But at this station, there are only 150 kilowatt chargers. So um, it's the only one I can use. Um, some charging stations have chargers that are 350 kilowatts. Some charging stations have 100 kilowatt, 125, all different variations. You just want to make sure that if there is a charger that is more than you need to try and avoid it when possible, but sometimes you're going to have to use those and that is okay. Be sure to check um, with your dealer on the internet to find out your max charging speed so that you can select the best charger for your vehicle when charging. You want to avoid using this station this one has a chat emote. A chat emote can only be used on a few select vehicles, the most notable being the Nissan Leaf. Now, if this is the only station left, go ahead and use it absolutely because you got there first and you need to charge. But if there's a bunch of empty stations like here right now, try and avoid this so that if a Leaf rolls up, they can charge their vehicle. When charging, you, you want to avoid charging over 80% at public chargers. Now, there are going to be times when you're going to need to charge over 80%, and that's okay. But when you can, try and charge only to 80%. A lot of times, especially if you're on road trips, you don't even need to charge up to 80% because you might only need 50 or 60% to get to the next charger. But maybe you live in an apartment complex, maybe you live in the city, and you can only charge on public charging networks, and you have to charge above that's okay um, it's not the end of the world but again like i said avoid it when you can when charging be aware of the other drivers that are either at the station or that might be coming to the station if you notice that the station fills up a lot and that you have enough charge to get you where you need to go then please do the courteous thing and move your vehicle so that others can charge quickly with public infrastructure it's going to be really important that we're aware of this so that everyone can get in and out efficiently think of it like and already like a gas station where um, if it's full like BJ's or Costco tend to be very full people are trying to get in and get out think of it like that once you've got enough get where you need to go um, now obviously if you're sitting and no one's around it's okay if you want to charge a little bit longer but if it's a full station please be sure to move your vehicle once your charging has completed please be sure to move your vehicle so that others can use the charging station and additionally you usually have some sort of grace period and after that there will be idle fees so be sure to move your car so that you don't incur any idle fees and so others can use the charging station once your charge is completed be sure to remove the charging cable replace it back on the dispenser so that it is safe and so that others can use it successfully and that the stations stay in as good a shape as possible for as long as possible. All right, everybody. So that is it on how to have proper charging etiquette when using a public charging station. Uh, if we all do this, it's going to make the experience a lot easier for everyone as they transition to EVs. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you all next time.